So everyone knows Siege is a game of seconds, Siege is a game of little micro mistakes that could be literally ruining your games and making you lose gunfights. So I just want to go over these common mistakes that you guys are definitely making. At least one of these mistakes you're probably making in game. And this is coming from usually a mid plat player this season, yeah, plat three on this account. But um uh most of the time I've been playing this game since Operation uh, I've been playing since year one i've been playing before the first dlc so i've been playing this game for a minute and i just know what works and what doesn't so hopefully this can help um, make you guys a little bit better and just make you more aware of these mistakes that you might not even know are mistakes last thing uh do you guys like this new game mode i don't know how i feel about it there's 13 days left there's so there's still two weeks left of this these packs seem pretty cool um i want to do an opening here if i get enough of them i'll do an opening on the channel but there are 31 new skins if anyone is interested so that's cool it'll be live for 14 more days here so get on this if you want these skins they are pretty sick one more thing before we get into this i'm a little congested so if my voice is a little more nasally sorry so i think the first mistake comes a lot with um play styles like ash where it's very just um quick paced and you're going to be doing a lot of uh, fast running like this but it comes down to um running in general is not always the best idea and i'm going to show you why i mean outside running's okay um unless if you're trying to expect a spawn peak which then you should be pre-aiming but i just want to show you one thing first of all and that is just the sound of running the sheer presence that running brings to the map and i want to compare them so here's running versus walking and now crouching and now crouch walking obviously your movement speed changes a lot but from walking to crouching it's not that much sprinting obviously makes you move way faster but do you want everyone to know that you're coming inside even as an ash player that is quote unquote rushing you can still rush by walking like this going straight to sight in the first 30 seconds i would say is rushing and you could still do that by just walking down blue stairs right going all the way here and killing the person behind the server stack and then moving on to site and now you're already in sight so it's okay if you do a little sprinteroo here but uh because everyone already knows you're here but you need that element of surprise and i think that's one thing with sprinting that doesn't give you this echoes literally i could probably hear you upstairs in like open area archives or one of those and that's a problem the other thing though is ads ads speed so if i'm if i'm just standing here this is my ADS speed. This is only a vertical grip. It does not have an angled grip. This is Ash's R4C. It does not have the angled grip because it was a little overpowered. If it would have it, it would be super overpowered, actually, because you could sprint and literally pull up. And that's that's one of the things. Look, check out this ADS time. It is so horrendous. It's like slow motion. Walking is a little bit better. And then standing still is the fastest you're going to get. And as you as you move right it gets slower and slower so the point with this is just imagine sprinting around this corner without adsing and then you see someone you're pretty much doomed but for my second common mistake um that one was pretty self-explanatory but it's movement uh, and not just like good movement like knowing how to do good movement just stuff like this basic movements it's more of like too much movement i see this a lot in gold and just lower ranked players that really think they are pro league honestly and they think they're stuck in like year two of this game when quick peeking was better when you were able to aim in faster whenever you were able to crouch spam whenever you're able to do this um lean spam and stuff but that's not the case anymore we're in year five they fix the garbage like that you can't be doing any of this you can't be doing crouches like that um it just does not work so i want to show you something i saw literally yesterday and then after the game i saw he was a gold one and it was actually a good player i know he had good aim i know he had everything but he's not able to take that next level and i'm pretty sure i know why it's because his aim might be good but he makes it super bad with how his movement is it's all about his movement at that point it's way easier to aim going like this going like this um like that rather than doing this number switching angles like this spamming your keyboard absolutely 
making the most sound you can possibly make on your keyboard is not helping you in gunfights, it's hurting you. I want you to know that. Well, maybe it might be harder for them to shoot you, but uh, your aim is all over the place if you're doing this. Right, because you have to try to control it. You're probably going to end up shaking too, because you're because you're doing this so much that you're going to be shaking trying to control it. Instead of just a steady shot all the way around wherever you're trying to do. One crouch is okay. One lean's okay, but not none of this. Don't be over moving. Over movement is just as bad as no movement at all. And that is something that I feel like um, lower level players don't have even basic movement. And I think that is something they need to work on. And once they get that basic movement, they want to show everyone. So they just, they just, you know, go around here and do this number. But that's not helping you in any which way. You're better off just doing one crouch or not even doing anything and just aiming down and shooting with your reaction time. The third one's also pretty related. I guess it's kind of the fourth if you count one of them, but I'm not keeping track. This is just common mistakes I see. And it's the first one I have. If you guys want more of this, I can definitely get more common mistakes. There are so many mistakes I see. It's kind of sad, honestly, um, how players have a lot of potential but just wasted on doing stupid, stupid stuff. And I'm trying to help you guys here today. So hopefully you guys aren't those stupid players that do stupid stuff. This one's kind of related to the other ones though. It is ADSing. Like when should you be ADSing basically is what I'm saying. So ADSing is probably one of the most important things you can do. Most of the time you're gonna need to be ADS even when you're clearing a room. If you go around a corner and quick peek, yes, you can be un ADS, but um, whenever you're clearing a room, however, Say you are down here, you know server is clear, someone killed them off the stack already. But instead of just running in, maybe be ADS'd um, before that, and then you could just clear the room while being ADS, doing certain movements that'll not get you killed. Um, but it's way better than just running in. And I know a lot of people don't just run in, but like, if they do it in a more low-key way um, if you're pushing blue stairs you don't ADS until you're here instead of when you're here and scan the room like that I know it's harder with the ACOG and that's why I use a hollow on a lot that's annoying um, a hollow on a lot of guns because especially the guns I'm playing fast paced on because I want to go I want to be able to clear um, with all my visibility ACOG zoom you in so much but this this keeps me tight. Only uh, only range that I move out is my actual holographic sight in general, but I still see left and right just as much as I did here. Maybe zoomed in a little bit. And I also make my sensitivity one to one so I can clear it the same speed with my sights aimed in as without. I know a lot of people like to slow it down, but then you're gonna be doing different sensitivities and it's just gonna screw you up in general. And if you want a absolute one to one, I have something on that, but uh, 83 is as close as you're gonna get without changing your in-game file. Uh, but if you wanna change your in-game file, I have something for that for you if you want. So I wanna bring up pixel angles and such. So I whipped out the ACOG for this and I just wanna show what it truly is and the power of it. So let's say we're holding this with a dock and we are in the basement. So we're just holding a tight, 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 tight angle. Um, just to find it first. Pixels are sometimes difficult to get in. That's not even a pixel, that's a little bit too wide if you're actually trying to do a pixel. A really cheeky pixel. So let's just say this is a pixel, right? We'll just say it's a pixel. The likelihood of you getting a kill from this pixel is probably low. Um, any pixel, really. It's not really four kills though. Only way you're gonna get a kill is if someone peeks you back just how you are peeking. So someone's gonna literally have to peek around the corner just how you are and you're gonna have to kill them like so. But I don't think that is how you should be even playing your pixel angles. I think you should rather be playing it. That's more of like a pixel. I just moved a little bit. You should be playing for Intel and Intel gathering only. So obviously your bullet will fit through there and it will shoot. But how fast will your reaction time need to be? You're gonna see a little black movement and then you're gonna shoot. And then you're giving away your position and you probably missed your shot. Instead of that, they can't see you, right? They can't see you when they're swinging over here. So once you see them cross, a better way to play this is pre-firing where they're going, right? So you see them go, you see them start running across, you go 
and swing and then pre-fire them. If you miss, oh well, go back downstairs, live another day, and at least you had a really good chance at killing them rather than rather than trying to hit a lucky ass one tap here on a pixel peak, which is probably very unlikely unless if they stop right here. So from the other angle, from the other point of view, you sit here, they would have to come around peeking like this if you got the kill. This would give you the kill, I promise you, but who peeks like that? Most people are gonna go like something like this or this, and at this point, that's when you swing and kill them. And this could be used on literally everything. Obviously not just this weird pixel peek that I just made up. I've never used that in game. But every doorway that you hold that's like this, it's the same thing. And it works better with ACOGs. That's why I pulled out an ACOG. But um, obviously it's just pixel angles. Um, pixel angles when you can literally only see the pixels like that. So um, the jagging lines and such, that is how a pixel angle works. Next thing just ties into everything we've done. This is the last point I have. And this is one that I know is not probably for everyone because everyone uh, knows this and they're probably gonna be like, yeah, I know how to do this, but you probably don't. And um, especially if you're a lower ranked player, you probably don't and that's probably why you are a lower ranked player. And that is your crosshair placement. You are probably either running a little bit down or a little bit up. And I know how it feels. You aim in like this, and then you have to correct. You have to correct. Aim in like this, and then you have to correct. And I see this a lot from players going from Call of Duty to this game because body shots are a big thing in Call of Duty. Um, it's just hitboxes are different in that game. And I was one of them. I came from Call of Duty also. And I was always, always hitting body shots, right? And it works. It works. Getting out of silver it works in mid gold. It just, once you get to plat, you are donezo. And, um,. Because everyone is aiming for the head at that point. The one advantage that people have that, you know, play CSGO is they are always aimed and ready to be at the head. And they know where it's going to be. So, the way to get used to this is going into Terrace Hunt. And literally just aiming into heads. Uh, if you're just always, always aiming at head height. And if you don't, you have to correct before you shoot a bullet. That would be my rule here. Instead of just plowing them in the, in the chest then pulling up. Because that's just jerky. Um, I would recommend going here and then if say this isn't the head and they're crouched or whatever Correct yourself down correct yourself down before you shoot your bullet because now you're fighting the recoil and fighting your mouse So you're going you're pulling extra hard down there. There becomes no mind uh, Body connection there or hand connection whenever you're doing this um, Trying to pull down and do this instead of just recoil control in general obviously is a lot more accurate other than um, that though um, always aiming at the head and I would say standing head height is where you're gonna want to be aiming because um, most of the time people are gonna be standing and if they are crouching it's much easier to go like this than like this in my opinion and most of the time they're gonna be standing so it's easier to just go like this and it's way easier if you just crouch with them whenever you see that they're crouched and just just keep your aim straight and that's probably the easiest way to do this especially with um, most players that try to do a uh, crouch around the corner you just start shooting up start shooting this way and then crouch down and hit them with the head shot no matter if they go up or down so hopefully that was helpful to you guys for uh, siege common mistakes I'm sure one of those at least one of those has to relate to you uh, especially crosshair placement. I know everyone doesn't do this perfectly all the time. I think this is probably the most important thing though. If you can get to do this perfect all the time. Second to that is probably your movement, your quick peeking, and just such like this. So um, hopefully this was helpful to everyone, especially I'm sure new players can take every single tip here and use it. But even the more experienced players, I put time cards down below or time codes down below, whatever they're called. And um, if you want to rewatch any part, they'll be down below. Hopefully this helped though, and I'll see you in the next one.